I'm making one of my favorite desserts, bread pudding. And it's loaded with cinnamon, and raisins. And if you think it's a little too decadent for you for brunch, just do what I do. Think of it as a baked French toast. Bread pudding starts off with a good quality stale bread. But because my bread was fresh, I decided to push it along just a little bit in the oven and dry it out. Now while this cools down, I'm gonna make one of Gianfranco's favorites, caramel sauce. And I'm starting off with some 35% whipping cream and I make sure not to skimp here because this is really what stabilizes the whole sauce. And I'm using brown sugar in this, firstly because it's gonna add that sweetness, but also that richness to this caramel sauce. Ooh. Anything I make that's sweet always has a little splash of vanilla in it. Now don't get scared. This butter is gonna go in here, but it's really gonna make it rich and luxurious. And my last ingredient is really special. Just a touch of brandy. A little for the sauce, and maybe just a little sip for me. <laughs> and brandy is really sweet. Mm. It's gonna go perfect in this. And you know this is ready when it coats the back of the spoon. Look at that, how beautiful. Mm. And Joe Franco is gonna love this. Now, for the custard that holds this all together, classic ingredients. Eggs, and milk, and cinnamon, and vanilla. It's just so yummy. How can this not be decadent? adds that creaminess, and again, it's more vanilla in here because that's what adds that nice aromatic feel. And I warmed it up with just a little cinnamon. It seems like a lot of bread, but it's gonna soak up all the liquid. I came up with this recipe because my mom loves just about anything with raisins, and I love bread pudding. So I mixed the two together, and I promised you some raisins, so I kind of soaked mine in a little bit of brandy. <laughs> Started to highlight the flavors in the caramel sauce, and don't leave any brandy behind. It smells so good, and it's ready for the oven. How easy was that? my favorite part. I love a doll with fresh whipped cream too. It's an extra, but why not? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. It's rustic and luxurious all at the same time, and it's so sweet. I just got a bite of that raisin and a little bit of brandy. <laughs> this is so good.